Hello, this is Dora Tarver from createandmanageschedules.com and in this video session we're going to focus on creating cost resources. Cost resources are typically used when a resource is not time-based or associated with particular materials that uh, will cost your project. In Project 2010, you can actually assign more than one cost resource to a task. What this means is you'll be able to track hotel, airfare, you know, transportation for your travels all separately. And then we can basically look at the total cost for cost resource which will allow us to determine how much we're spending by category. Now to create a cost resource basically you would come to the resource sheet which we're already on if you're not there uh, select the view tab and select the resource sheet to open up your resource sheet. And then what we do is in the first empty cell we type the name of the cost resource so we'll call this hotel and under the type column we'll select cost and uh, I'm going to give it an abbreviation in case I'm looking at this on my Gantt chart. So notice that the other um, fields that you would normally have for cost are empty uh, that we that you would normally have for material or work resource are empty um, because it's a cost resource. And in this case for hotel, we'll say for whatever task this is, we will uh, start we will um, apply the cost at the beginning of this particular when this resource is, a, is assigned to the task. Now we specify the assignment cost when we actually assign the resource to a task. This allows us to um, have a different cost based on each assignment. So there's no dollar amount applied in here. So for example if we um, click on Gantt over here and look at our Gantt chart view. Let's say we have a task, uh, we'll just call it uh, offshore training. Okay. And in this case, I want to, under the view tab, select details. And so what you see here is the actual cost view showing at the bottom down here. And what we'll do for this task is assign the resource of hotel and click on OK. And right now there's no amount assigned at the moment. So to actually assign a value, you literally just go into the cost field and put in a value. So let's say um, this is going to be a three-day training. Um, and the cost for hotel, uh, let's say, is $150 and click on OK. Now let's say we have another task and this will be, uh, this will be, uh, let's see, local, whoops, local training. And let's just say this local training, you know, is also three days, um, but there is also a resource which we're going to assign to this, uh, which is a cost resource called hotel. And the cost for this will be cheaper. It'll be it'll be seventy five. Oops, hold on one sec. Seventy five. And then I click on OK. Now, just to add another level of uh, another dimension to this. If I go back to um, the uh, resource view 
and on the resource sheet rather. And uh, let me add uh, auto serv um, it, not a taxi, but a private car service. So we'll just call it car service. And this will be also a cost resource. And I'll just call it car. And the expense is also at start. So back on the Gantt chart, let's say for both of these training sessions, there's going to be hotel and uh, car service. The offshore car service is going to be, let's say, $80. So let me click outside into another cell, type 80, click on OK. And then for local training, uh, there's also going to be a car service. And it'll be $20. Okay. So we have those. I'm just going to click click on save. We have these two cost resources assigned to both of these tasks but um, they are different amounts. So to see how much you're spending um, in each category the resource usage view is really the best place to go. So from the view tab if you click resource usage and I'm just going to drag this split down a little bit And here, if we continue to scroll down, let me just collapse this and collapse that and collapse this. Um, continue scrolling down and I see my two cost resources over here. Here for hotel, if we are displaying the cost field, if we right click in the column here and um, insert cost we can see the total for hotel and the total for car service and we can also see the breakdown for these categories so as you can see these cost resources are a great way to track resources that are not um, material or labor related just remember to assign the uh, cost resource when you assign resources to the task. This will help keep things organized. So assign the resource, assign the cost, and this is how you manage cost resources.